Hey guys, third gen farmer here. I'm back and um, well, we're in the ditches. The fields are done. Uh, this is actually our last canola field that we did. And uh, yeah, so we're basically what we're doing is we're cutting ditches. Um, now that harvest is over, uh, we have kind of that time and the mower was hooked up to the our Lamborghini tractor. So we're giving for a rip. We're cutting the ditches for the last time this year, getting them all nice for the fall and then it'll make it nice for in the spring as well uh, before the grass grows back again in the spring. But um, And then once we're done here, then we'll be able to unhook this mower and we'll be able to put on our field work stuff. So our ditcher will go on this tractor and uh, yeah, we'll have all that stuff. So. This cut was not me here. This was actually our county that did the cut here. Um, but they only do, sometimes, sometimes they're good and they'll do the whole ditch. This year they did a pretty good job. They had a nice wide mower. They did one pass, but it was pretty wide, not bad. Uh, so I'm kind of finishing it up. And then I, I don't know yet. I might come back on that just to kind of clean it up, but he did a really good job. So I might not, I might just leave it. But, but yeah, it just, it makes it look, I've already done kind of onto that. Oh, sorry about that. I've kind of done onto that side there. I don't know if you can tell. Um, but anyways, it just makes, it just makes everything look nice. Look nice. And then in the springtime, uh, if there's water flowing here, the water will flow much nicer and the grass will come up nice and everything. But especially getting to this time, as you can see, maybe by the trees, they are starting to turn some color a little bit. Um, so fall is definitely upon us here. It's coming soon. And uh, which means that this grass eventually when it dies, it's gonna it's gonna die off before we get our snow. Now what that does is the grass is gonna be brown. Well, any wildlife, a lot of wildlife is brown. So like you can have a brown bear or moose, deer, all that stuff. They'll be brown and they'll be hard to see. So if we cut them, especially if the grass is long, they'll blend right in. But if the grass is cut down, we can mold, we can see them pretty good when we're coming at night. Um, so that also helps in case someone else is coming along the road or whatever, you know. So we do our part. Hopefully a lot of others, uh, which I've seen around, some others also do it, which is definitely a nice thing. I uh, apologize for the back window here, but I definitely love it when... Uh, when everyone kind of cuts their ditches because it makes everything look really nice and uh, yeah, just everything looks nicer and it is more safe as well, so. But it's also, I also get why people don't because it's just hard to justify sometimes. Um, a lot are still really busy. Luckily we got our harvest done nice and soon and we always have these kind of breaks in the year where we're able to get out and cut. But some farmers, each farmer is different, and some farmers just don't have that time, and some farmers also just don't want to spend that money on fuel and putting hours on a tractor and buying more wear and tear on both of them just to cut ditches. And sometimes they like, and some farmers may consider that a waste. And you know, that's each their own. For us, we kind of like, kind of like how it looks and all of that. And I just went over all that stuff. Oh, it's rough here. I'm just having to go around this tree coming up, so bear with me here. Looks pretty flat, so I won't have to lift my mower up. I was going to show you guys the process on the other side, but the thing with that is the mower would be too low, so then it'll go into the dirt and stuff, and I need my other hand to control it up and down on the mower. Uh, sorry about that, get too close to you, you know? I don't bite, but you probably don't want me being all up in your business being too close, but. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I just kind of cut them. It's kind of relaxing, you know, just time in the tractor and listen to some radio. I mean, right not right now, but listen to some radio usually and everything. And yeah, nice open openness. We have, uh, we do, I think about 10 miles of ditch way that we usually cut uh, from the top of the road all the way down. Um, and yeah, so all the way around our, a lot of our land, basically, pretty much, and some neighbor's land and entrance too, and stuff like that. So uh, I'll actually take you 
once we get over to our wheat field, one of our wheat fields, which is right behind me here. I know it's, it's hard to see, but it is right behind me. And with that, we are going to, there's some wheat that are left standing, so I'm gonna go buzz into the field. I'm just gonna chop that up with a mower, because um, then that wheat will uh, go down. The straw will be incorporated. Once we pass, we can work over top of it. Um, and if that wheat starts growing, then we can, when we do our fall spraying here, uh, we can kill that wheat off uh, rather than having it grow in back in the, in the springtime here. So. But uh, yeah, so I'm just going to keep on going here and I'll show you guys kind of the process as we go. But uh, yeah. All right, so that's kind of what it looks like before we do it. I don't know if you can see there. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what it looks like before we do it all kind of grow uh, not grown in but it's got a bunch of red clover other clovers little trees that start growing just taller grass I mean here too thankfully the top um, here which especially along the road gets really long since they did it it uh, looks already much nicer but yeah so that'll be to do still we also do all of our uh, I passed it but upcoming there's a ditch that goes into the field because um, we have ditches that run in the field and then that come to our main road ditches here uh, We also do those passes again looks nice with the water makes it flow nice as well but Just about keeping everything maintained as well, you know All right, so we're just doing the bottom here um, As you can see our mowers kind of contouring a little bit Again, I I tried cleaning the window, but I guess that's what happens. We have a plexiglass. I don't know if you can tell there. See, there's two layers. So it's plexiglass, which isn't actually glass. It's kind of like a plastic, basically. That's why it's called that way. Uh, and that's because of rocks. We get a lot of rocks that'll fling up into our window. And we have lost a few windows already of that. So to prevent that, we put plexiglass. And I think this plexiglass has saved this tractor's back window probably. Oh, I want to range a guess between 50 and 70 times. Like, it happens. It's already happened like six times today. And sometimes you're not even really into the rocks, and just it just happens. So, um, but yeah, that's kind of our our terrain of our ditches. They come down, and then this would be. This is technically a field, um, so if they, if these farmers here, our neighbors, if they took the uh, trees out here, they could farm all the way up to basically right where my hand is pointing. Um, so you might have a few questions, I guess. And first off, well then, does that mean that you're cutting on their land? And it does. It does mean that we are cutting onto their land when we do here. Mind you, I think this is actually, um, well, there's this spot and then a few others of our neighbors as well. However, however, the road allowance may end, I think just, yeah, right about there. And that being their land, they like it when we cut, they don't mind it, they're happy that we cut there. So, we cut there because we have their permission um, and in fact, they, they, they like what we do anyways, so if anything, uh, yeah, they'd, they'd rather us do it than not do it. Um, we just have to, there we go. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of how we do the bottoms. It'll be, this is like the most weird of all of our ditches in my opinion, I think. Uh, cause in some spots it's very steep. And this right here is very steep, which puts a lot of strain on our, our universal and joints in there. Um, but then you get spots which are up ahead there, uh, which are almost flat. As you can see, I pretty much went through. But like this, this is very steep. Like that is already, like up there is already level with me. And just because that's really hard on our joints, I'm just gonna kind of back off a little bit. Um, raise our thing up but it is yeah that's very steep right here as you can see it's kind of level with the tractor there I'm putting my phone so because that's eye level basically right now and that's ground there so 
there's definitely some elevation and uh, our tractor is running right in the bottom of that there now speaking of you might have considering speaking of uh, steep you might have a few other questions well if you're if you're going in a really steep section won't you just flip your tractor and um, yeah you could you you definitely could you got to be careful now this these ditches we have passed over whoop, a million times sorry I just got to lift my thing so it's not digging into the dirt um, but we have passed these ditches millions of times basically not actually but with this tractor with our other tractor and, and uh, no issues but it doesn't mean you can just be stupid so we know like those banks that I was showing you we're not gonna go on top of them like this with this this tire deep down and this tire all the way up well that's just a recipe for disaster you might roll um, now there are parts which um, are definitely like you'll be fine like here I as you see I went with my mower I was fine on there um, but there's parts way down at the other end uh, which I'll show you there's some steep parts or even up top you're 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 at a pretty good angle and you just got to go towards the road you gotta play it smart we do have some areas that are too steep that we can't pass even up in front here that's why it's not cut there because it's too steep and too deep so we can't go there um, so basically we, we go wherever we can but we don't uh, we're not not gonna be stupid about it because we'd rather not roll a tractor uh, so far we haven't knock on wood um, but yeah Um, so yeah, sorry. I'm tuning up a lot of your guys time here So this here this is a shame because all this wheat now is ready But it was super green when we went by right so we could get the combine out here But for what it's worth setting it taking all the headers out. We're just We're mulching it down. It's only like this little strip basically and around the dugout. There's a little bit It's a shame because this is tech. This is yield here, but uh, we got as much as we could. That was with the combine there. So, but yeah, these kind of parts, we just want to clean them up so we don't have this standing here, basically, right? So, okay. So here's the steep part that I'm talking about. That is like insanely steep. Like I've never gone that deep on there. They had a, uh, but yeah, the ditch people who did it, uh, they had the right tractor and a very wide um, mower. But even then, they didn't want to go too deep. But I mean, that's more brave than I would ever be on that incline. I'm shocked that they went that far. But as you can see there, I mean, there's stuff in there. Wood and, and concrete down in there. Um, but yeah, I we have gone down in there, I, like right at the bottom, not on the incline, definitely not on the incline. But we have gone right down on the bottom before uh, with this tractor, we actually got it stuck. I remember that. We had to use our, our big tractor to pull it out. And it wasn't like it was super wet and, or anything. Like, like it hadn't rained in a while, but it's just the bottom of those ditches can hold a lot of moisture. But, like, my tractor, it's sliding a little bit right now. So this is my limit. I'm sitting sideways because I don't want to go down in there. Um, now, if I did go down in there... I'd commit if I if one wheel went down I would turn into it because otherwise if you have one wheel down and one wheel up well then you're you're you might as well just roll at that point so I uh, yeah no I would definitely just at that point I'd rather be in there and stuck rather than in there and rolled over so um don't worry this is our field this is our field it's actually still pretty black but anyways i'm gonna keep cutting here so uh yeah see you guys on the flipper here well and since we are mowing we like to do our uh this is into our field i don't know it's almost like a cultivated graveyard and stuff um with a bunch of yeah old cultivation equipment that we used um so yeah we're kind of cleaning this up and uh, some new area that we did break 
breaking as in like take the trees away um and yeah so we kind of mow in here as well well i don't know i don't really know this makes sense this is just extra kind of land that was a bunch of dead trees and now well we uh we can mow over top of it um as you can see we pushed a bunch of dead trees out of the way And uh, I'm mainly just gonna, I'm not gonna mow this all in here. I just wanna mow kind of around stuff just so then when we come next spring, if it grows a little bit more, we can still tell where we want. And we, we like to just kind of mow this once a year, basically once or twice a year. This one in front of me though, uh, that we do mow uh, much more often. We mow this pretty much every time anyways, but uh, yeah, no, it's it, it's going. So this, I kind of boot down a little faster usually. Um, this part, not over there. That's too rough to go any faster. That's my limit. This, I just go faster if it leaves a little bit worse of a cut. Uh, no biggie. Power shift is nice. Power shift is definitely nice. This is a 12 foot mower, if I didn't mention it, I don't think I have. It's a 12 foot bush hog. And it works. It works pretty good actually. Be careful here not to hit that, of course. Especially going up mock chicken here. I mean, if we do hit it, we do hit it, but ideally we won't. Just to save on the mower. I don't really care about the arrows anymore, honestly, but. Oh, I should slow down. There's definitely areas which are rough. Ouch, like that. So this pit that I basically just went into, uh, they use that to build the entrance. So they just took a bunch of dirt out. And uh, now there's just kind of a hole there. And it really is rough and it sucks to cut. So I meant to avoid it, but. There, so I just came through there, through our ditchway pathway. That's what I mean when we do our ditches over there. So, again, since we have the feel, I can just turn around. It's kind of nice. When we have a crop in, we have to back out. And that's even more annoying. But, okay, I'm gonna put you guys down so I can get back through here, because it is a tight fit. So yeah, now we're just doing the tops up here and doing those kind of ditches. Um, it definitely keeps the trees from growing in those ditches, which is nice as well. Um, but yeah, the ditches are cut to like six inches wider than our mower. It's like cut to 12 and a half feet and our mower is 12. So it's pretty tight. I just gotta focus that, keep it on the middle. Um, our next one was small and tight, just like that. One was, but then we took the little tractor and made a little bit, just bigger area since there was a bunch of dead trees and they were just kind of clogging up the ditch and yeah. So I'll show you that one probably. All right, so here it is. We do have a tree there, so we're gonna cross the ditch. Oh, we're gonna go over here, then let's go hit the tree. Woo, boy! That was close, eh? That was very close. That was actually closer than I thought. Almost hit the tree. But anyways, there we go, right back up in the field. We're gonna try and avoid those ruts because those would be rough. We're gonna hit them slightly because why not? Yeah, and then like I said, it's a little bit wider on this side. Um, I'm not gonna cut all this. I mainly just want the ditch way cut, that's all I care about, but. Ugh, it's very rough. There we go. 
sorry about the shakiness and everything guys I uh, trying my best to do five things at once here and still give you guys a decent video but I'm gonna keep hammering away at uh, these ditches and I'll, I'll be back with you when they're all done hopefully all right so we're done here whoops let's scoop your everything fell out and uh yeah so we're all finished up now this is all cut i mean like i said this i cut much quicker didn't leave it as nice um we definitely need to clean on top of our mower here uh because it just builds up with all that just dead grass and stuff as we pass through cuts and then uh well it's now it's stuff starting to grow back but every season uh we clean this right off and pressure wash it and stuff but yes it's still turning but that's just because the mower is still winding down there's not much resistance so it'll slowly wind down basically um and that but yeah these chains in front are to prevent rocks from kicking up they don't do very good they still definitely kick up but no we definitely like this mower it's definitely nice and uh but yeah, so we have more land to do, so I'm gonna boot down, probably go do that. Uh, yeah, we definitely have more, but this is our main main stuff, and it's right along the route to our farm yard that's got done here now, so. Yeah, and uh, it definitely looks good once it's done, I, I have to say, it, it looks good. So, uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, it's a little bit something different, and I'll, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys all later. Take care now.